So my name's uh, Gloria and uh, the project um, that we've uh, been doing is Prototype and it's a festival of new performance for East Midlands based artists. It's an artist led event which is really special. It's been amazing to see um, everybody's pieces grow um, and uh, sometimes projects like this give people that extra push that they need to get their uh, piece going. So they might have an idea or a script and, um, and, and then when you've got something like this that comes along, this um, opportunity to show it in front of an audience, um, people really step up and, and um, give it their best. It's been brilliant to um, bring together a group of artists uh, as a collective who then think about how they want to shape uh, the event that they're also um, presenting their work at uh, and to create an experience for the audience. So Prototype is a brand new theatre festival for new work in Nottingham uh, that myself and the rest of the new associates at New Perspectives Theatre Company have put together as a sort of culmination of the efforts um, over the last year of our theatre making practices, whatever they may be, they vary quite a bit. Uh, and it's a wonderful opportunity to get our stuff seen in front of an audience. Um, and it's just a chance for us all to get together to curate a festival of new performance, new works in progress and full performances in front of a, um, uh, an audience in, in Nottingham. Theatre is kind of created to you know, go in front of an audience and to not have an opportunity to test that, not have an opportunity to kind of say, you know, this is the offer, this is the gesture, how does that feel? What can we, what can we change to make you feel more entertained, more comfortable, more excited? Um, it's just a really wonderful platform and supported platform. It's an accumulation of the things that we've learnt through new perspectives and things that we've done in our own right. And I think it's kind of like a weaving together of a lot of the things that we've learnt, I would say. For me, it's really opened up with the opportunity to come and wit to show work in Nottingham, which seems silly as an, an artist based in Nottingham and is from Nottingham, but for about six years now, um, I still haven't managed to show anything here really. Prototype is taking place in Nonsort Studios, which is an amazing new space uh, in Nottingham uh, for new performance, uh, experimental work and, and contemporary, uh, contemporary theatre. Prototype has been amazing. Um, I haven't even done my performance yet and I, st I have the post show blues, I don't know how is that possible. I just want to be a new associate forever. It's been absolutely brilliant to have Arts Council funding for this project. Um, it's, uh, it's taken it to an extra level um, and I think that um, often these types of opportunities are uh, something that people put together and they're underfunded um, or they perhaps um, don't pay themselves properly um, and having it properly funded means that everybody uh, gets paid for what they love doing which is brilliant. <laughs> So none of this would have been possible without New Perspectives. Their new associates scheme is what brought us all together as a collective of artists and their support has made this possible. They've been absolutely wonderful. They've let us use space, they've let us use their social media, they've let us use every resource that they've got for their own professional shows. Um, so it's made it feel incredibly real and wonderful. It's really inspiring to be able to work and be mentored by new perspectives and um, the, the way they operate and, and their model. So the Arts Council agreed to fund us, which was completely wonderful and uh, really kick-started this whole project and let us do it uh, properly, for want of a better word. They gave us the funds we needed to pay the people who were going to work for us and make this a really professional experience for everybody involved. It's really important to get paid, um, which sounds really simple, but actually um, a lot of the time the economic kind of structures that are in place for independent arts artists are, are quite, um, quite difficult. But having the funding and feeling like we are actually doing it in the industry and be, get paid and, you know, feel like real artists. So Amazon is a climate fiction, it's about a dystopian future where nature is almost extinct and through the two characters we're trying to see what the people will decide after that to do.
It wasn't exist before this project, so uh, this performance is a baby of this project um, with the help of New Perspectives and uh, the Arts Council. I got the chance to work with different performers and develop it and obviously with the help of uh, Jack McNamara and his feedback I could rewrite it and I'm, now I'm in a really happy place. The piece that I've created is called Adversity, Understanding, Enlightenment um, and it's basically based off poems that I've written over the past year and a half to two years and when I heard that we had the opportunity to do this I decided to try and weave them in a way to tell a bit of a story. So I kind of felt I could be a bit more artistic with it and um, I could kind of get convey meaning a lot more and I could obviously have the lights and effects and stuff and the sound cues that make it a bit more theatrical, that bring them to life a bit more. So I found it fun playing around with that. So the piece that I presented for the festival is called Scrimping. Um, I worked collaboratively with Grace Cordell, who's another new associate. Um, and I, I wrote the piece um, and she acted in it and then we worked together to shape it and um, there was a, a bit of editing that went on and uh, it, was, it was nice for that to be, again, for that to be collaborative. Um, so we're both, we were both invest, really invested in the project and how the audience might experience um, the main character who's called Atti. Uh, Decay is a short play, it's a work in progress at the moment and it follows two siblings, Jess and Aaron, who uh, are part of a kind of family drama and um, uh, it, I'm really interested in exploring sibling relationships, particularly uh, with one sibling not being around. Uh, I would say that it's new writing, um, uh, suitable for just theatre and, and, and theatre spaces and uh, a studio space. Um, uh, I'd say that in terms of its scale, it, it's small scale and um, I'm really interested in kind of pushing the, the form of it. So the play doesn't contain any set, it's just the two uh, performers and moving through, um, I guess, um, through time and, and different uh, places through that. So a Story About Time Travel is a play, it's about two people, Jess and Finn, two graduates who kind of meet, fall in love and discover they can time travel all in a kind of inappropriately short amount of time. It's kind of a piece of contemporary performance, um, not in your perhaps typical traditional play-like setting, much more storytelling, but storytelling with characters and with a fictional background and everything like that. We very much see it as kind of a in the round two people telling you their story. But this is much more kind of inspired by the work of Alan Harris, who's been a big influence on the play. And so it's really kind of testing a form that I haven't had the chance to explore before. So Presence on Test is about, uh, it's kind of more of a provocation than anything else. It's sort of a performance provocation about whether or not I can challenge myself to stay present through a repeated action or a repeated set of actions. Um, because contemporary performance is absolutely obsessed with presence. Um, at the moment and uh, I thought I would delve into it a little bit and see see what it's all about and also see you see if being present can generate presence you know that charismatic type of presence that you get when you see oh, my favorite actor um, so yeah I'm a local actor musician um, and I'm in the process of turning myself into a playwright so I've written a play called Water Borders which is about the uh, anglo Icelandic Cod Wars um, and it is a, a theatre piece with music. I don't want to say the word musical because that's wrong, uh, but it's a four-person show uh, using live music and archive recordings and uh, verbatim text. The process, um, it started, so the, so the case started as uh, kind of a version one of the play um, and I wrote that and I did a bit of a reading before um, uh, bringing it to prototype. Um, uh, I got to uh, perform with two wonderful performers who helped me workshop the play in rehearsal and from workshopping it there were things that were really highlighted to me in terms of the plot and its uh, uh, development within the play and so the process has been quite organic it's it's because I'm kind of writing and also um, directing parts of it 
you know, it's such a wonderful group of artists, the new associates, and kind of everyone's bringing their ideas, and it's such a multidisciplinary group that it actually creates a festival that's really, um, there's a lot of variety. It's really interesting to see how the things complement each other, even though they're not strictly kind of from the same form. A work in progress isn't just unfinished work, it's kind of the ideas at its most raw, it's the, you know, it's the demo that will eventually turn into the song that goes on to the album. It's really an opportunity to see something at its roots. It really, it, was, it started with this idea of presence and wanting to look at, uh, you know, how, how does that work in contemporary performance? Because you don't have that kind of aura that you get with traditional acting. I mean, a lot of the time you don't act um, in, in contemporary performance. So I think it helped me find my style and also it helped me with my um, confidence because I was, I was a bit shy before, but now I feel like I found my confidence to actually present myself as an artist and present my word and say that, oh, this is what I'm making. Please come and watch it. Tell me your opinion and let's develop it furthermore. It's given me, first of all, the confidence to be able to do it without having the pressure of having a really finished, polished piece. Um, it's given me kind of the room to experiment and see what works, what doesn't. Um, and to, I think in general, taking it from a concept in your head to actually seeing it played out is really powerful. You often don't know how your piece can develop without putting it in front of an audience and hearing what they have to say. So I saw lots of people filling out the feedback forms and taking their time over that and that was really great because I'm really excited to uh, see what everyone has to say and to see how that might help me then to make it, um, to develop it and to make it a longer piece. I think for an audience it's really great um, to be part of that conversation and to be part of that work's development. I think work certainly like my play or the other work by new associates can't be created necessarily without the input of that audience engaging their opinions, their reactions and, and their thoughts. I think I'm hoping that they will sort of share my interest in the experiment because um, it is at the end of the day uh, an experiment in action um, and uh, I'm hoping that they will be able to help answer for me some of the questions about whether or not being present creates presence and, and whether or not those strategies of anticipation I'm using actually does the job that I'm hoping it does. It might not. I feel like one of my possible, like one of my aims is to try and get it into maybe schools or colleges, universities, um, places where people are struggling with their mental health, even certain hospitals and whatnot, um, just to show people. I think the main thing is to let them know that they're not alone in their struggles and to let them know that it can still, you can still look good on the outside and everything can look okay, but at the same time, this is what's going on on the inside. So any places that I can give anyone an insight um, or just the feeling that they're not on their own, I would love to be able to share the piece with that, those people. Yes, so this is the first time that I have worked as a playwright, which is really, really exciting. So different to um, just doing it at home. It's a difficult profession that because when you're not working, you're still a writer, but are you? It's, can, it's a sort of um, career that I think really lends itself to crises of identity. Um, so this opportunity has let me level up that work in front of an audience and um, sort of boost my creative profile in the Midlands, but potentially further afield. Do we need people to come in and um, we need to make people aware that we are here and that we are creating work and also we need the feedback because we are creating art for, for the audience. So There's been a lot of um, buzz around the project and it was great afterwards to speak to um, different audience members and see how they received it um, and, and that they have a stake in it because it, it, they're their feedback counts, you know, um, and also it's really lovely and informal, you know, every, people, everybody got a free drink um, and uh, so the atmosphere was really nice. It was an atmosphere where um, people felt like they could chat to each other and could chat to the artists. And again, I think that's something that doesn't often happen when you put a piece in front of an audience that is finished. You don't get to have that, those conversations. So many 
in amazing and talented artists um, in one place over one weekend and I'm really looking forward to just seeing other people's work actually. It's amazing, I want to do it again and 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 again. I never want to stop, uh, it's really brilliant, like not only to be able to show work but also to have an understanding of how a festival works, so what it needs to be done, from decorating to hiring people like you, like all, all this like, is, is brilliant to know that and understand how the industry works. And there's not been a lot of opportunities to be able to just kind of say let's do it, let's just see what it looks like, there's not pressure to kind of have a perfect polished piece, you're not having to pitch it to anyone and, and, and whatnot, like you've just had that your own creative freedom to create your own piece and as I say I feel it's helped me to feel valued and to feel more confident in, in the production that I'm putting on because it kind of feels like someone's giving you the green light to kind of project what is going on in your mind um, and that has really really helped. It's it's been brilliant and I was thinking yesterday um, that after this I'm going to have uh, post prototype blues because it, it's just been so lovely to, for us all to be doing what we love doing and doing what we do um, best um, and it's been really nice to work with some brilliant people for this and to have lots of support, um, particularly from Nonsuch here and from New Perspectives who have been amazing.